How's it going, everybody? It is your boy, G20, and welcome back to NHL 22. Be a pro. We are on the Anaheim Ducks because everybody doing the Kraken. So I said, let's go to the Ducks. And today, we play our first game on the first line. That's right. We finally get to hook up with our boy, Trevor Zegras. So let's look. I believe Ricard Raquel would be the third man in here on this line. Yes, he is. It's going to be me along with Trevor Zegras, who has eight goals in 11 games. Damn, Trevor, and you've been playing, you've been playing with who? You've been playing with, no, not get slapped. Yeah, he's been playing with Silverberg. Silverberg had five goals of force. Yo, we are a highly offensive team. I wasn't even on that first line either. These boys are just going off. Ricard Raquel is kind of slacking behind everybody else. But you know what? Me and Trevor Zegras is going to be a huge line. Let's just take a quick peek at our goaltending because I feel like we've had good goaltending. Oh, a 9 away from Gibson. We expect a little bit more. Stolar is giving us a 9-13. Okay, so maybe Gibson can turn things around here. But it's our first game on the first line. And I feel like that's a little bit of a milestone. So we're playing the full thing. Not gonna lie, I'm really trying to rock some classic jerseys here, these uh, 93, 94 jerseys, but I'm just I'm just curious, curious, in the comment section, what do we think about these? What do we think about this era jerseys? Is that good? Is that trash? Let me know. But we're gonna rock the 94s. So here we are, Gibson between the pipes. We're taking on the Arizona Coyotes, so it's not like we're taking on a world-beating team here. We should have plenty of opportunities to have a good game. So... Let's go, Trevor Zegers winning the opening faceoff. My boy, my boy had a pretty decent game too. I am excited to play with this dude because not only is he having a good season right now, since we're planning on doing a full career sim, we're gonna have plenty of opportunity to play with prime Trevor Zegers. So that's gonna be fantastic. Okay, once we get to like year five, six, oh, Trevor Zegers is gonna be really good and uh, I, I'm looking forward to that because prime Trevor Zegras sounds like a lot of fun down low please down low please we're open oh please uh, thank you thank you I appreciate that it, it took a little bit too long but it's all good also speaking of things that are coming in the future I know I've been doing everything about be a pro but I chose my team for franchise mode franchise mode is gonna start soon I just got to take a second today to look at the roster so somewhat formulate a little bit of a plan on what we're gonna do with our team and then we're gonna have the first episode of our franchise mode which thank you so much for everybody that suggested teams in the comment section that was fantastic I did not anticipate everybody in a mama to be giving me ideas but y'all did and by far the most popular choice, the most popular request was to go with the San Jose Sharks. The hard mode of GM mode, man. That team is screwed, and I'm going to see if I can fix it a little bit. However, there was a lot of uh, Vancouver Canucks love also. i seen the halves a little bit. So those two, along with another couple of suggestions that I've seen repeat quite a bit, those two are going to be at a later date. We're going to do more than one franchise mode this year. So... Uh, just, just keep a lookout for that. If you voted for the Vancouver Canucks, I am going to do that probably next after we are done with our Sharks GM mode. Please score that. Oh, that would have been a nice assist for the kid. Oh, yeah. At the point of slap shot, it's going to be stopped. I need to go to the net. I need to go to the net because I'm playing left wing right now, which I don't want to be doing. I, I, I made myself a right winger for a gosh darn reason, EA Sports, but it's all good. It's all good. We're going to be playing left wing for now, but uh, I need to get some of my... You know, some of my automatic plays out of my brain. Like, I need I need to play as a power forward and stop making the plays that I make as a sniper. Trevor with a face-off win? No, oh, a face-off tie-up. Oh, yeah, face-off win for Trevor. That's my boy. Here we go. Here we go. We're on the ice. Yo, go. No, I wanted him to follow me. Oh, my God. That's That sucks. That sucks. And look, a little bit of lack of a chemistry right there. This man died. Holy shit. Raquel and I absolutely demolishing. That, now, listen. Listen. We didn't get the puck back, but I'll take the hit. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're in the Anaheim Ducks. Physicality is a little bit of what we do. Yo, 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 I see you creeping up towards Gibson. You better get the fuck off. We don't play that shit. You do not go at Gibson. Simulation goal. Let's go. One. Nothing for the Anaheim Ducks. That's what I'm talking about. These jerseys are fire, by the way. We might rock those more than the actual home jerseys. No cap. No, no cap. These are fire. Hold on. We're a power forward. Oh, no. I wanted the poke check, and I ended up saucer passing like an idiot. No, it's all good, though. I'm still trying to hit a reverse hit at some point. We're 6'4", so when we get a little bit of speed going, you bet your ass we're going to reverse, reverse hit a motherfucker at some point. There are a lot of ducks here on this... Uh, on this little rush 
trying to defend me, but you know what? We gained the zone anyway. Back at the point. Yeah, we're going to go to the net trying for a tip. That's a lot of traffic, though. It's going to get stopped. I almost decapitated a man. That's going to be our MO here in Anaheim. It's going to be defending, defending, playing physical. Because, I mean, we do have some offensive talent, just not a whole lot, and we just got scored on, so that's that's unfortunate. Oh, yeah, Phil Kessel. Shout out Phil Kessel. Contract year for Philip. So he's going to be looking to play extra spicy for the Coyotes. And by the way, that that away, the away Kachinas, I like them a lot better than the home Kachinas. No lie. No word of a lie, man. That's, I feel like that is a fantastic looking jersey. And that, that's weird coming for me because I actually don't like the home Kachinas. I don't. I feel like they're super overrated. I, I don't feel like they look that good. But the away ones, I'm here for. Oh, yeah. We're going to go right to the net. Skate. Oh, yeah. You know what it is. We're going to pick up the rebound, too. Yes, sir. We clear those. We clear those. That's our job. We're going to go back at the point. We're going to go right back to the slot. The one-timer stop. Your boy is going to pick up the pieces again. And my pass is going to be intercepted. That's on me. That's on me. I should have taken that shot or rimmed around a little bit. I should not have gone for the high risk pass because that was never getting through in a thousand years but it's all good we're gonna be the man against the pucks back whenever raquel and zegras just don't score all right so that's that's huge but speaking of people to get pucks back zach hyman first game as an edmonton oiler was everything it was hyped up to be and that i really love zach hyman so much i'm so happy he's on the oilers it's amazing oh give me that give me that that's a huge pick and unfortunately i don't have the hands to grab it. I have the IQ, just not the hands quite yet, but when that attribute catches up to our IQ, we are huge. Oh goodness gracious, that was a that was an interesting pass. So back behind the net. We're gonna play a lot behind the net, it seems like at least against the um against the coyotes. That seems to be the way to beat these guys. Nice hit. Let's go on the four chat. We get pucks back, boys. We get pucks back. We fight for every yard out here. Let's go. Oh, we almost got, had another hit, but I love the way that we're playing so far on the offensive end. That's a huge save, right? Yes, sir. Yo, Gibson. Whoa, John Gibson. Big dog. Big nuts plays out here all the way to the face-off circle. I don't even know if you can cover it over there, but he did. Oh, we have a sim goal. I think multiple sim goals, actually. Yes, 3-1 Ducks. Is putting me on the first line kind of helping the rest of the team? You know, I mean, I, I don't think so, because it's like we have Ryan Getzlaff on the second line out there, but I, I just, I'm going to dump that in. Yeah, I have no speed, bro. I don't have the speed to go to the outside. Ah, in the NHL, what a hit. Let's go. Oh, let's go. The one-timer, that goes wide. We're going to pick up the pieces, though. Move it on over. The one-timer again. This one's off the post and wide. Goodness gracious, this first line is looking like it is comprised of some elite talent. The Coyotes really just went from Ekman Larson to just Larson. They downgraded a whole Ekman. You see these goals, though? We're getting so many damn goals in, in the simulation. I feel like our first line is trash out here. Like, we should be keeping up with the with the scoring touch, but I guess not. Okay, we're just going to give you some room. Yeah, it's all good. We're right winger anyway, so if I have to rotate on over to right wing, I'm chilling. Oh, here we go. See, this is exactly what I mean. Yo, get off my ass, please. Oh, my God. And that's the end of the first period. The first line is a minus one. But in simulation, we were killing it. Now, listen, it is a rebuilding team we're facing here. The Coyotes are not <laughs> not exactly supposed to be great for the first year in the full Kachina uniforms. But I'll still take it. If we can nurse that to a big W and two points in the standings, uh, that's that's all I ask for, man. That is all I ask for. Into the corner. Yes, sir. Monster check. Oh, yeah. Oh, and I might have been boarding, but you know what? If they didn't call it, it was legal. All right. We got to chill on those, though. We got to make sure we don't hit that kind of hit from behind. Because if we do that, that's going to be difficult. However, it's good to see that we have eno just enough speed to get to the corner uh, along with the puck. Okay, let's go. We're going to go, yeah, back around the boards. Oh, he skated forwards at it. I like that. Usually in 21, they'd skate backwards at that. That's good. That's good. We're going to get that from behind the net. Hold on. There's nobody out front, and that's a huge stop. Oh, I, I didn't do it well enough. I should have gone a little bit further. I didn't think I would have all that space, though. Like, let's be honest. Usually, they don't give you all that kind of space, but they did on this one. We're going to board play this man. Get the puck back. Yes, sir. That's what we do. Come on, team. Come on. I gave y'all the puck back, and we couldn't do anything with it. Move it up, please. Ooh, that is not a great play, but it's all good. We got it. We got it now. We're going to shield the puck away. We're going to rifle that in. We need to change anyhow, so, I mean, whatever. Yo, coach, you like what you see, bud? You like what you see on that first line? Yes, sir. We're off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do we have the speed to beat this man? We do not. We can spin around him, though. Somehow, we still have it. Oh, I need to, I need to quit passing those, man. It's NHL 20. You can't do that. You can't. Oh, they're going to score, aren't they? Nah, John Gibson got this. Oh, the points man. The point man's open. 
He wasn't that open, though. He was he was covered a little bit. It's all good, though. We're going to help get the puck. Oh, no, I got pushed off. That is rare. Oh, no, here come the, the Coyotes. I almost said the Ducks. Damn it. I'm not used to being on the Ducks. Okay, it's all good. Here we are, though, on the counterattack. Yes, sir. Shoot that. Shoot that, please. Nice save. The rebound scores. Big power forward, Ducks. And we have our seventh of the season on a rebound. I think it's 5-1 now. I mean, we are just we are just rocking it out here. Nice play. We're just driving the net. Yo, shout out 86 for trying trying his damn hardest to keep me away from that puck, but you know what? We're just we're just too big. We're just too strong, too powerful of a human being. We are a big dog. Yo, Trevor, not gonna lie, I really want you to stick lift him and then give it back to me. Or or we can do this and then pass it off. I can go to the net. I, I, I got to get used to it. We don't have a one-timer on that side anymore because Raquel's right-handed. I think that's going to be the end of the second period, but not before a simulation goal for the Anaheim Ducks. What's it? Wow. The, the, the Coyotes really are some trash, huh? It's all sim goals, too. Like we, It's not like as though we're just dominating as a first line. Well, we're doing well, but... Oh, there's another hit. Let's, oh, oh, oh. oh, man. Is he okay? Let's go, Trevor. Winning it at the point. That's that's a huge hit. Hold on. Oh yeah, big slash. Big slash. You wanna fight, bro? You wanna fight? You trying to fight? You trying to fight? Are we gonna go to the box? No, we're not. We actually avoided it. Let's go. We were able to slash someone without going to the penalty box. Okay, so it is possible. I was trying it because every time I've done it to this point, it's given us a penalty. So it looks like you can get away with it. It's 4-1 game. Are you are you sure about that? Are you I, I'm not I'm not understanding how this could potentially be 4-1 when it's clearly 6-1. But good. Good to see that Chell is still broken. Back up the ice. Oh, my goodness. Are you going to drop that to me? going to drop... Oh, big man. Oh, big slash. <laughs> that was such a wind-up for such a muffin. Like, it wasn't a muffin muffin. We still got a decent shot off. But, you know, considering how big our character is and how much of a wind-up that was, I was expecting, like, a bomb to go at the net. But it just didn't happen. There you go. We're going to get this. Boom. Up the ice. Beautiful feed. And that's a nice reception by Raquel, too. I'm going to be the drop. Zegras, he scores! Trevor Zegras, and we are officially crushing them. It's 7-1, to one, holy. I would like to thank the coach for allowing our first game on the first line to be against such a dog shit team. Get it? Dog shit team. I ain't even mean to do that, but when it happened, I, I was set to take full credit for it. Can we can we hook ourselves up with a one-timer? We're not going to be left wing for long here. As soon as we pass that 85 that Raquel's got going on over there, they're going to swing us back on over to right wing and Raquel is going to come to the left side so that's going to be huge it's probably going to happen right around playoff time or like the second round or something that's what happened in NHL because <coughs> that's what happened in NHL 21 and I'm assuming that's what's going to happen in 22 as well we're going to rim that around the boards hard for Trevor to go get there Trevor oh he still has it look at the speed Trevor's working with he's all open he's all alone Trevor up to me up to me one timer huge play between me and Zegras that first line is gonna be so good bro it's gonna be deadly but no nothing wrong should happen here we're all in position we're all we're all having having a great old time great old time what in the living fuck just happened? Clayton, no, 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 Rammer. I see I see what you're doing here, trying to skip replays, Rammer. I see exactly what you're doing, but we're we're not we're not we don't play that shit here. So we're gonna go right to replay mode and, and witness the assery that just happened. Alright, so a big save by John Gibson. That's our man, big game John. But uh Trevor Zegris, uh you good, bud? You he just own he flat out just ongled it. He he fucking Patrick Line aid that shit right into his own goal off of a goal. Off of a goal, he said. Remember when Line fucking one time did into his own net? That was fantastic. You know what? Maybe Trevor's a nice kid. You know, he sees that we're we're being dominant right now. It's seven to one, and he said, well, "What if we made it seven to two and looked like they they had a chance here at some point in the game?" All right, next shift, it's it's, it's go time for this line here. Here comes Raquel back to Zegras to me. Forehand scores. What a beautiful play! Oh my god, this game feels so good sometimes, man. And that is just one of those moments. One of those moments. Raquel to Zegras. Zegras draws defense. I'm just driving hard to the net and I get the puck. Forehand tuckies. And we have eight on the game. Jesus. We are running their show right now. Low key though, I know it's eight to two and that we probably should hang off a little bit. But I, Daddy's trying to get a hat trick because I that was my second goal of the game. I'm trying to get my first hat trick. In my first game on the first line. You know, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be a lot of firsts. That'd be a hat trick of firsts. Oh my god, hat trick -ception? Bad news is we uh, only have about four minutes to do it. So that sucks, but we're good though. 
We're good, though. We're going to throw that to the left side. We're going to drive the net hard. Oh, he waited for me and then shot it. I appreciate you so much. What a teammate. What a teammate. Oh, 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 forehand. Oh, what a save. I would get stoned on the third goal when it's probably the best opportunity I've had, eh? Wow, what a stop. Okay, okay. Not even mad at it. The goaltender is competing. He doesn't want me to score the hatchery. He probably knows what's up. How can you miss me? I have a RoboCop visor, for Christ's sake. Like, he knows. He knows it's me. Oh, the deep to the outside. And, of course, of course, it's going to be... A turnover because we just don't have uh, we just don't have hands right now. It's all good though. Sometimes they'll work. That's why I tried them. And that's gonna be our final shift of the game, I believe. Actually, with the first line, no, it's our final shift of the game. We destroy the Arizona Coyotes today. Realistically, they only got one goal, and we scored the the, the second one for them because we're nice like that, you know. But I feel like that's a pretty damn good start to our career here in Anaheim. At least our first line career in Anaheim. Let's go, man. Tell me what you think. Get some hype in the comments for that San Jose Shark series. But that's going to be it for me for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hook your boy up and punch the like button in the face, man. And hit a lot of a comment and subscribe. I'm G20, man. Thank you for your time. As always, man, I do appreciate it. And I'm out of here. Peace. Look at this lens flare. Oh, oh, fucking lens flare. I love that shit. The rookie continues to impress. Let's get Ray Ferraro in here for his own perspective. Uh, do you like that last night from the kid? Yeah, I like most things this guy does. I, I've been really impressed with him this season. And so he gets his promotion again up to the first line. And I thought better than the first time that he was put in this spot. He seemed more comfortable. Uh, seemed more sure of how he was going to create offense. I thought he had an excellent game. Yeah, no, he was, uh, he responded in a big way and, uh, you know, kind of lived up to the hype. We don't see that a lot of times when things live up to the hype, but this kid certainly did. You know, I want to say this. I want to bring this back to the rookie here because this is a good point that Ned just made a couple of minutes ago that he has been so good and I think he has exceeded expectations. You know, there are a lot of people wondering, you know, would he make this team coming out of camp? You know, he proved that without question, at least in my eyes. And now he's having this impact where, you know, hey, was he not the best player on the ice out there for them? Was he not? Because I don't think there was, it was even a conversation to have a debate on this right now. He was the best player, picks up a couple of points in the win. And it's always so much easier when things are going well, right? I mean, the team's winning. There's not a lot of issues. Sometimes it makes my show boring when a team's thriving, right? But my understanding was after practice earlier today, the coaching staff pulled the youngster aside and, and I think challenged him to see where can you be better.